What's up guys, Derek here, and uh, today is going to be part one of a new little mini-series, I think. Uh, talking about gaming memories. Uh, I want to do the early formative years, so up through like uh, PS2 era-ish, and then I want to do my teenage years, and then now, and, and then I, you know, how I got started on YouTube and all that, and it's going to be like a little mini-series. My past, basically. Um, I don't know, I thought, I thought it'd be fun to talk about, because I've been around for a minute on YouTube, uh, for those that don't know. Uh, but that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about the early years of gaming. What did I grow up with? What do I have a lot of nostalgia for? So let's hop into it. So the first video game system that I ever played was Sega Master System, and, which is odd. I'm only 24. Uh, but my dad had a master system and I while I don't really remember it at all. Uh, there are pictures of me playing it uh, So I'd like to have another one back for that reason But the first game that I ever remember playing that I have fond memory vivid memory of uh, Is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan on Game Boy. My mother had a Game Boy and she had that game and We had Pokemon we had Pokemon red and blue I think we had both. I'm pretty sure we had both. And, God, I played so much of that damn Game Boy. I, I wore it out. Like, God damn. Um, but console-wise, we'll, we'll get back to the handhelds in a minute. I want to do the consoles first. So, uh, console-wise, the first console that I could really call my own that I loved was the Nintendo 64. Love the Nintendo 64. Tons and tons of awesome memories. I mean, what are some of my favorite games? Snowboard Kids 2 and Duck Dodgers. Both I had when I was a kid. Both pretty rare today. Still need copies of both of them. I'm hoping to get them this year. Complete in box. Um, I had them. So fun. I can, I could, I could picture the first level of Duck Dodgers so vividly because I played it so many fucking times. Uh, and Snowboard Kids 2, just, it, it, uh, Business 17 said it a long time ago that it's like the Mario Kart of snowboarding, and that's what it is, and it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. 1080 is close, though. I, I played a lot of 1080, too, and I love 1080. But Snowboard Kids 2 is still number one. But 1080 is number two. 1080 is number two. Uh, Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, another fantastic, uh, racer. Lego Racers. <laughs> I mean, they're basically all Mario Kart ripoffs, but with their respective IPs. And they're all great. They're all great. Uh, I mean, what else did I have? I had Pokemon Stadium 1, Mario 64, obviously, classic. Um, but it's funny. Uh, of all the games I had, Mario 64 was, like, at the bottom. Like, I, n I didn't play it a whole lot. And to this day, I'm still not, you know, I, I'm going to get flagged for it. I'm not the biggest Mario 64 fan. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just not... Um, I'm trying to think. Did I, did I have anything else? Goldeneye. I had Goldeneye. Played a lot. Of, played a lot of Goldeneye. Mar oh, well, Mario Party 2. Mario Party 2. Big one there. Mario Party 2. Oh, Mario Tennis. How could I forget? Mario Tennis. The best sports game ever. Arguably. Arguably. Uh, the soundtrack, the gameplay, it's fantastic. Mario Golf's good too, but I didn't have that one when I was a kid. Uh, so, N64, lots of, lots of fantastic memories. Lots of fantastic memories. But my mother had a PlayStation. And while I didn't play the PlayStation nearly as much, and to this day, you know, I'm not a hardcore PS1 collector. I don't collect everything for PlayStation. I just don't really have a lot of interest. There are games that I did play that I have a lot of nostalgia. The number one favorite game on PlayStation of all time award goes to Battle Arena Toshinden, which is a game no one ever talks about. It's a fighter, which is odd for me to say because I don't like fighters, but that game in particular, I played so fucking much. It's unbelievable. That, Crash Bandicoot, and my mother had Resident Evil 2, which I tried at some point and it scared the shit out of me. Uh, <laughs> so I, I still do, I don't like Resident Evil. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not a survival horror guy, but uh, I'm trying to think. Crash Band. Oh, Tony Hawk. We had Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Fucking phenomenal games. Uh, best skateboarding games ever. I mean, you're never going to get better than that. And it's a shame that that franchise went so fucking downhill. 
just a shame. So that was my that was my childhood years. N sixty four and PlayStation from like nineteen ninety seven ninety eight, however old I was, three four years old, probably right up till two thousand and five. I had those, uh, but we'll get to, so. Moving on from that era, uh, when the next generation came along, I didn't know anybody that had a Sega Dreamcast. I didn't know anybody that had an original Xbox. Um, I had a GameCube and a PS2. So, PS2 came first, so I'll start with that. My dad surprised us on launch day and got one. I don't know how he did it, because A, we're poor, and B... um, you know, as far as I know, they sold out, like, everywhere. Like, everywhere. So, I don't know how he did it. Um, and I don't remember what titles we had at launch. And, I, you know, I, I honestly don't. But I'll, I'll name off some of my favorites. My favorite game of all time is on PS2. Grand Theft Auto 3. Best game ever. Vice City, right up there with it. San Andreas, right up there with it. Uh, 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 the Getaway. A game no one ever talks about. Awesome fucking game. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto. Um, another game kind of in that vein is uh, True Crime, Streets of L.A., another really good game. Uh, if you're into that kind of style of game. Uh, a game I played a shitload of, Conflict Desert Storm 1 and 2, me and my neighbor Steven. God, man. We co op through that game so many times. And I'm sure if I went back to it now, it probably wouldn't hold up whatsoever. But at the time, it was fucking amazing. Uh, what And what else did I have? Dragon Ball Z Budokai 1. Uh, Enter the Matrix, underrated game. Uh, Budokai, another fighting game, funny enough, that I, I don't like fighters, but Budokai, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, amazing. But I also love Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, so I'm biased. Uh, I'm trying to think what else what else did I have on PS2? Oh God. <laughs> Black Hawk Down. Delta Force Black Hawk Down. Me, Devin, and Steven, my two neighbors, we sat around and played multiplayer on that game so much. <laughs> like now I remember they were always really good at sniping and I was terrible at it, so I would try to run up on them and they'd they'd like fucking snipe me and I'd get pissed. Um but yeah, that's a great game. Uh, the 007 games, Night Fire, Under Fire, uh, both both of those phenomenal. Uh, and I mean, that's what I that's all I can think of offhand that I remember playing. Uh, and I, I mean, I played. I had others. Sly Cooper. I had I had Sly Cooper. Uh, I had um, God, what else? I had Ford vs Mustang, which I fucking hate that game. I. I I haven't played it in recent years, but I remember when I was a kid, I didn't like it at all. But yeah, PS2 was awesome. I mean, the the leap in improvement was like mind blowing to a young kid. But so after that, we ended up with the GameCube. Now I don't again. Father comes home from work one day, boom, he's got a GameCube with games, and I'm like, okay, strange. Don't know how he did it. Um, but it came with some games and I don't know what year, again, I don't remember what games he had. I don't remember if, when, if it was when it came out or blah, blah, blah. I just remember the games, some of the games that I had. Uh, so number one game that I had was Luigi's Mansion. So everyone else got Mario Sunshine, not I, I got Luigi's Mansion and Zach Pack, shout out to you. Cause he's like the only other like giant Luigi's Mansion fan that I've ever met. The game is phenomenal. The game, I mean, the game is phenomenal. I mean, what can you say about it? It's, it's the closest Nintendo's gotten to a horror game, and they did it right. And it's a shame that uh, Dark Moon wasn't as good. Haven't played the third one yet, but I'm, I know it's not going to be as good as the first one, which is kind of why I haven't played it yet. I also don't have it, but, um, God, yeah, I played a lot of Luigi's Mansion, beat that game a lot of times. Uh, another game I had that no one really ever, uh, had or talked about is Kirby's Air Ride. Still love that game. Still think it's a great game. It gets shit on for some reason, but I love that game. Uh, didn't have Mario Kart. Did not have Mario Kart. Didn't have Sunshine. Didn't have Mario Golf. Didn't have Mario Tennis. 
In fact, I don't even know if I had a Mario game other than Luigi's Mansion that I can think of. Uh, but uh, GameCube also produced another probably top five game of all time for me. Uh, and I'm gonna I, I'm gonna kind of cheat here and put them together because there's two of them, but they're so unique and they're spinoffs that I'm gonna count them as one. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness, two of my favorite games ever, and I can still remember. I remember I remember Coliseum, love Coliseum, and I remember uh, when Gale of Darkness came out. It was 2005, and I remember it was coming out. And the day it came out, I wanted it so badly, and I didn't have any money because I was a young kid. I was like 10. And I begged and begged and begged my grandmother, like, please, like, please, I'm begging you. And she eventually, <laughs> I was a little asshole, but eventually she uh, she cracked. And she took us to, <sighs> it was either Toys R Us or Target. It was one of those two. And I remember walking up to the case and getting it with the strategy guide, which was crucial at the time. Uh, and I got another game in the next part of this that also involves a strategy guide. <laughs> but, uh, fantastic games. And what else did I have? I'm, I'm, I'm almost struggling to think of uh, GameCube games that I had. Uh, you know, I didn't have nearly as many GameCube games as I did the PS2. But I loved it just as much. I mean... I, I mean, I'm blanking out on what to say other than, you know, the memories that I have with those systems is, you know, fantastic. And I'd like to collect four more and get back to those childhood games. Um, and I am, I cannot think of any other GameCube games that I own. Honestly, I might not have owned anymore. Let's see, Luigi's Mansion, Kirby's Air Ride, uh, Pokemon... Oh, uh, Smash Brothers. I did I did have Smash Brothers. I did have Smash Brothers. Um, which was fun. I mean, at the time, it was fun. But I didn't play it a whole, whole lot. Uh, but I also didn't have friends that were going to come over and play four-player multiplayer. Uh, and if I did have friends come over, we didn't play Smash Brothers. We played other shit. So, uh, oh, another game I had not on... Uh, GameCube, I don't think. I think I had it on PS2. Uh, Tony Hawk's Underground. Another fantastic Tony Hawk game. There, Pretty much every Tony Hawk game is good up through Underground 2. And I don't remember if American Wasteland came out after Underground 2 or before. If it came out afterwards, then they're good up through American Wasteland. If it came out before, it's good up through Underground 2. Those games are fantastic, and the series now fucking sucks. I can't believe how bad Pro Skater 5 was. I, I was so disappointed. But uh, that about wraps it up for this uh, part. I mean, I don't want to ramble on too more. I mean, what what more is there to say? These games have all been talked about a million times. You know, that we've sung their praises a thousand times, and I'm sure in videos that I talk about them in the future, I'll sing their praises again. But... I think that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.